Hello there everybody and welcome to my basic military setup tutorial for Dwarf Fortress. In this one I'm going to explain how to set up a barrack, how to set up a squad, how to equip it properly and how to get them trained there. What I'm not going to cover in this tutorial is how to command them over the map and how to pull off combat with them and how to train, how to train specifically ranged dwarves because that's uh, rocket science for itself, which will be covered in a later tutorial for sure. So this video will be all about the setup, how to get the equipment going and all these things. All right, so first off, here we have the setup room. This will be our barracks and these rooms will be for equipment. I've set this up right at the entrance of my, um, of my fortress because if we get attacked outside there, or if ever anybody gets at, uh, attacked by any wild animals out there, our soldiers are really quick to respond. So, in a nutshell, you want your barracks close to where you expect danger to happen. To set up the barracks, you go into the zone menu down here, and you designate a certain area, like this, and you go on accept. And then, to get more things going, you will need a squad and... A militia commander so without a militia commander you won't be really able to form any military so you get on up somebody who's a good leader and then we can get the whole thing going so this military leader doesn't need any office or anything like that there's no necessity there the next step is going to be we open up a squad the blue banner down there is the icon you choose, and you create a new squad. So now we get asked if uh, what kind of squad we want to create. We're going to create the Militia Commander squad, and here now, what kind of armor should these dwarves wear. A good template for Melee Dwarves is Metal Armor, so we select that. But the uniform basically is only a template for their worn gear and can be adjusted to 100% to your liking after you have selected it, so there's no pressure there. All right, now we have set up the squad. Next step, we link the squad to the barracks. We click the blue ba banner here, and then we tell them to sleep there, train there, and store their gear and their weapons down there. So that means our barracks will now require furniture. We require a bed for every soldier that's going to be living here, training here, and one piece of chest for everybody and a couple of cabinets for the rest of the gear like ammo and such so with that being uh, all installed your barracks will be in order cabinets you don't need that many i just like them for the looks of it so that's the basics what you need our squad will now live here train here and do their thing so that's that. The next thing we want to do for the setup is we want to designate what dwarves will be in the squad. So for that we click on the dwarf face here and here we can now assign up to 10 dwarves. So we're going to assign a couple of people here. I do assign a couple of dwarves that were in the old squad before I disbanded it for the sake of this tutorial. And now as you see there, there's uh, so and so many positions in every squad. So we have now four people there, and the next thing we want to do is we want to set up your schedule. So you go on the green check mark here. Now you have selected them. With these icons, you can command them. So attack, movement, patrols, and all the things. And down here is the schedule button. The easiest way now is to go over to constant training. This way, your dwarves will live down there and train constantly. That's a good configuration to begin with. You can of course uh, go really deep into details here, but we don't want to go, go too deep in here in a basic tutorial. You could spend a lot of time in there. So the next thing now is to define the equipment. A quick explanation of what we see there. First of all, these icons. Yellow means the dwarf is just about to pick up the item. Red means he cannot find any item suiting for that slot. Green means the slot is equipped and it's all good. So all in all, every dwarf has seven slots for his typical gear, and we have ammo and a quiver back here. So if you want ranged attackers, you need these two. That means 
and the work orders, you will have to prepare gear. So for every slot, at least one type of item. Here we got bucklers, breastplates, gauntlets, helms, high boots, leggings, and so forth. What's really important to note here is when you produce boots and gauntlets, every dwarf needs two gauntlets, so produce enough. Four dwarfs need eight gauntlets, and that uh, really was a problem for me. I didn't see that coming. All in all, also don't produce these numbers uh, in, uh, don't produce your gear in too low numbers because gear will get used up and will get destroyed over the course of the time. Also, it helps a ton for your dwarves to find something to wear if your numbers aren't too low. So all in all, produce enough gear. Don't be like my old work orders here. Those are way too low numbers. Have lots of gear as long as you have the material for that. Okay, with that being said, we head on over now to the equipment tab. So as you see, our dudes are grabbing that stuff. What really helps is to designate a stockpile zone over here right next to the barracks, which is designated for armor. So with that, you go for here. I link this armor stockpile new now to where all my produced armor is lingering at. Don't judge my horrible storage system here. There we go. So this way, all the armor will be transported right next to the barracks. This leads to a behavior of your dwarves where they will equip their stuff faster. Basically, the farther away their gear, the less likely it is for them to equip it. So now let's get deeper into that. As you see, there's still a lot of red check marks. So we get on over into the details. And as you see here, this is everything happening. So we have here metal armor. And this tells you whether or not the dwarf has found an item feasible for that uh, slot. And here we see allocated items. And here we can now select what kind of material the armor should have. So we could now say iron armor or whatever you want to. What's important to note is that here you can specify the uh, gear stuff. And down here, these buttons are designating whether or not your dwarf will try to wear civilian clothing in combination with this uniform or not or and how specific those uh, picks are so uh, exact matches only will now make sure that he's definitely only going to wear iron armor and nothing in between whereas uh, partial matches makes it a little bit softer so what's really important to note here is you will have this problem in the beginning quite often. So you can click the update equipment button if that doesn't help. Usually the here I go through the usual culprits there. So uniform worn over clothing means certain slots are locked. You cannot wear regular boots and military boots at the same time. You cannot wear civilian uh, hand, hand thingies and military ones. You can wear a cap and a helmet together. So uniform replaces clothing is usually signing off a lot of these problems. So when we confirm that, our dwarf will then get on over and get this stuff. As you see there, these slots are now slowly filling up. That's the next culprit. If at any point you have something like this. You have seven breastplates, but your dudes are not equipping them. If these settings are okay, and uh, if you want to be really sure, you can also just delete the metal armor slot, select down here, on these, new body wear, let's say breastplate, and now specify iron breastplate. So now there is no no further uh, misconception there. We confirm. So. If there's still no pickup of a breastplate, no assigned item, then you just need to produce more of them. Sometimes these are locked for whatever reason that I haven't managed to discover yet. But what I did notice was as long as the dwarf is replacing his clothing and has this designation, you just need to produce more armor. Or you have to, uh, to, you have to manipulate these, or you have to make sure that it's not metal armor but the exact specifics i i feel like there might be a bug in between in the current version or or something like that i don't know but uh these things have ultimately led to fully equipped dwarfs with me so to summarize 
wear your uniform, not over clothing, but replace it. Be specific with the configurations if it doesn't work and have enough of the specified gear available for your dwarves. These three things have usually sealed out all the issues that I've had in the past. So if you still have problems, feel free to ask away in the comment section. So that's practically all. This way you have set up your squad. They will train in there. They will become better at what they do. And most importantly, they are available for your safety. So I hope that was helpful for you. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Feel free to add in something or ask away. I'm really open to whatever you have to say. Feel free to leave a thumbs up on that video and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up from my side. And if you like this one chances are you like the rest of the stuff as well so thanks again for watching check out also the playlist down there leading to various other dwarf fortress tutorials of mine and a big thanks to the supporters of this channel i'm really really appreciating and if you want to check out the support links down there and start supporting as well either way thanks a lot for watching this video up until this very end and have a wonderful day